What I wanna go over is a simple five-step blueprint to help you guys out there lose belly fat, right? We're gonna cut stubborn belly fat. We're gonna go over five simple steps that you can follow to move you in the right direction, all right? So let's get straight into it. I found I wasn't having the creativity with it. I wasn't enjoying it. So then it was hard for me to stick to it. You've helped me learn that. And now I find myself more creative with my meals, loving my meals, which makes it more attainable for me to actually make this lifestyle routine for me instead of it just being like a diet and a fad. The confidence has been crazy, man. Dang, like, I don't even know, mind blowing. I feel like my self-esteem is way up. I wouldn't say that's nearly confident. I have way more energy to play around with the kids in there at daycare all day. I come home, they try to wrestle right away. I think I've built some great habits, a lot of discipline, mostly, I would say, attention to what I'm really eating, focusing on yeah. reading labels first, all the things that you want to do in order to really push it. I mean, I definitely feel it has helped me create a lot of sustainability to continue to do for years. Before this, I was not working out at all, just eating about three to five times a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacking in between. But now, you know, I work out pretty much every day, except for my body told me not to. I um, definitely feel like new confidence is my life. Look forward to the gym. It's not like a chore anymore. It was like it's something I have to do with my day. I definitely have more energy on. The strength is definitely up. I feel like my chest definitely has lifted. My stomach has definitely came in. I can yeah. fit some of my old clothes again. I think that after already being in this program for as long as I've been in it, I've become more defined. Still working on building more weight and muscle, but even that has gotten better and I've added a few pounds that I've been trying to get. As far as my mindset goes, I think my mindset has always been very determined and just driven, but I think that no stagnation really helped me have more opportunities to practice being committed to something and working towards it every day. And Joe has been a great coach in that and helping me achieve those goals and setting my mind towards things that I need to help me in all areas of my life, not just physical health or physique and stuff like that. Let's get into it. All right, so our five-step blueprint is designed to give you clarity that you need to make this happen once and for all. So say goodbye to your belly and let's get to work, all right? And this is as long as you are willing to commit to the lifestyle change, right? Not the short-term gratification. We're not talking fad diets. We're not talking keto. We're not talking super restricted diets. We're talking real lifestyle change mentally, physically, and spiritually, right? So a lot of this, like I said, has to do with that self-identity shift and mindset work. All right, let's get into it. Step zero. Little, little typo here, but we're going to keep it rolling. Understanding belly fat and how to get rid of it. All right, so belly fat is more than just a cosmetic concern, all right? It can also be a health risk and mentally debilitating all right so i know a lot of people i've talked to a lot of busy professionals out there and that you know you may not think of it but it, when you look in the mirror if you're having these negative self-talks that that is that is affecting you even if it's subconsciously even if it's when you're wearing a t-shirt and you're trying to wear baggy clothes to you know hide your belly or if you can't go to the pool and you're like you know it, it, it will affect you mentally right so we have to understand the causes of belly fat and how to get rid of it and that's the first step to a healthy more confident and energetic you, all right? So belly fat is caused by a combination of factors. We have genetics, we have diet, and we have lifestyle, all right? And a lot of people will blame their genetics for their belly fat, all right? And let me tell you, you can outwork your genetics, all right? It is more than, it's your diet, all right? Let's be honest. It's your standard American diet, your sad diet that has caused your belly fat, right? It's caused by your habits, it's caused by your choices, all right? So to get rid of, <clears throat> so to get rid of belly fat, it's important to focus on a combination of things, right? Healthy eating habits, high in protein, regular exercise, focused on building muscle, not just cardio, and reducing stress levels. Because if you're stressed, your body's gonna hold on to fat. All right, so you gotta practice things like meditation, practice things like working out, re relieving stress, practicing things like breath work, journaling. All right, so this is a true lifestyle transformation that promotes a you know fit, healthy, intentional lifestyle. It's more than just going to the gym for 30 days, right? So we're gonna break it down into five steps on how to overcome it. Let's keep going. All right, step one, understanding intentional nutrition versus eating clean, right? There's a difference. Eating clean is cool, right? That'll get you losing weight. That'll get you losing body fat. That'll get you from, you know, 250 to 220, 200, right? But to really get that stubborn belly fat off, it's going to cause you to eat intention, intentionally. It's going to cause for you to understand your macros and to be aware of your macros, be aware of your protein intake, right? So what are macros? Macros are macronutrients which are the building blocks of our diet, right? So many people don't understand what macros are. They're, they're just eating, 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 and doesn't understand how many carbs, how many fats, how many protein, how many calories they're getting in. They're just eating, right? So I highly recommend tracking macros because this is gonna allow you to actually build a deeper understanding and relationship with food where, you know, you may think twice about adding that mayo or that, you know, that, that extra uh, toast or the extra pastry or going to Starbucks and getting that, you know, uh, that sugary frappe, right? Because these things all add up and it contributes to that belly fat. So we have, like I said, protein, carbs, and fats, which all contribute to our physique, internal health, and energy levels, all right? More on this later. 
And then we have intentional meal planning, all right? So the reason why we often make bad or low quality choices is due to convenience, right? We stop by that, we, well, I don't stop by fast food, but most people stop by fast food due to the convenience, right? And it's understandable, right? Long day, super hungry, in a rush, what's easiest, fast food. Well, let's make a better choice. Let's make a high quality choice. Let's go to a quick pick, you know, go through, a, a, do pick up at a restaurant or also meal prep. When you meal prep, it's gonna make it so much easier to eat healthy in a convenient manner, all right? Um, pro tip, reheat your meal prep on the stove, right? It'll taste brand new. A lot of people don't like reheating their food due to it being, you know, chicken drying out and so on and so forth. But when you reheat it on the stove, it's gonna taste brand new again. So that's a pro tip. Um, measuring and tracking. So to get rid of stubborn belly fat, guessing is not enough. Just eating is not enough. You have to get to a point where you in order to break through your plateau and to get new results, you have to know what you're putting into your body. You have to know that you're not overeating in your calories, carbs, fats, and you're eating a sufficient amount of protein, hitting typically a protein goal of 100 to 200 grams, depending on your body weight. For example, if you weigh 150, I mean, if you weigh 150 pounds, eat about 150 grams of protein, this is really gonna help your body undergo body recomposition where you're actually losing the body fat and building muscle. And you have to consistently do this, and you're not gonna be able to do this unless you have a strategy or system set up into your life that enables you to get your meals in, right? Whether that's bringing your lunch with you, whether that's having a, a, a prepping your breakfast or having a go-to quick breakfast, whether that's, you know, you get home from work or from the gym and you have your meal or at least some protein already made for you, right? You have to have the system and the structure set up in your lifestyle if you really want to be able to consistently hit this high protein goal, right? Because it's challenging. But once you learn it and once you develop a foundation and a routine, it becomes a lot easier and it becomes normal, right? Um, and we'll talk about the 80-20 rule um, in terms of 80% of your eating needs to be whole foods. It needs to be intentional. It needs to be high in protein. And then 20%, you can, you know what I'm saying, you go out with some friends and you want to slack off a bit and you want to have a cheat meal or you know some cake or pastries and things like that it's not a big deal because it's not your lifestyle all right so that's another thing that you must understand the 80 20 rule all right let's keep it pushing so the power of macros for you know building muscle and burning fat yes you can do this at the same time this is called body recomposition feel free to do your own research and dive deeper into that wormhole Information is free, dive into it. All right, so when it comes to losing fat, tracking your macros is crucial. So by optimizing your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fat intake, you can maximize your ability, your body's ability to burn fat and to build muscle. So protein is particularly, protein is particularly important for fat loss, um, and it should be the highest, and it should be the highest um, amount of food that you should be eating, right? Um, so on your plate, you should have predominantly protein, right? You should have 35 to 40% of your total macros being of protein. So what I mean by that is for your macro split, say for your, your calories are 18 to 2,500 calories, or example, 2,000 calories. So 35 to 40% protein would be 175 grams. 30 to 35% carb would be 175 grams. 20 to tw uh, 25 to 30 25 to 30% fat will be 67 grams. So on a 2000 calorie diet, this is how you should split up the grams of what you're eating. Does that make sense? Um, oh, I should have also added, oh, that's not, that's not super important. Um, so yeah, you can also make sure that you Google your body's total daily energy expenditure so that you know what your body is burning just at rest, right? So. I say a good rule of thumb for most people where they can start is a 2,000 calorie diet. Obviously, if you're like 200 pounds, six six, and things like that, you're gonna require more calories. Um, but for the general, the general man, um, 2,000 calories will be a good calorie deficit to start with. And then once you're regularly hitting that with your protein goal, you can increase your calories a bit. Um, and when you increase your calories, increase your protein, and then you can interchange between your your complex carbs and your healthy fats. All right, um, but typically. If you just want to just get started with 2,000 calories, that's a good starting point because honestly, a lot of people, most people are one, either under eating um, and not getting enough calories so that their body is honestly already in a deficit, but the food choices that they're making are low quality. So the macros that they're getting into their body is just making them fat, right? People are like, oh, you know, I only eat two meals a day, I only eat one meal. Well, what are you eating with that one or two meals? You're eating low quality food, terrible macros that's just making you fat, high in sugars and so forth. Um, so just getting on a whole food diet where you're eating 2,000 calories and getting your protein up between 100 to 175 grams of protein is a great start. And then as you are losing fat and you need to get leaner, you're going to want to fine tune this a little bit, right? You're going to want to fine tune increasing your protein, dropping your, your carbs and your fats a bit. Um, and yeah, and take photos. This is something that's very, very important. Um, as you go through this journey, you should take photos because that's going to allow you to see how your body fat is dropping um, better than the scale, way better than the scale. So make sure that you take photos. 
Um, and when you track this, you should put your macros into a food tracking app like MyFitnessPal, Chronometer, or my clients, they use our app that has a built-in tracker. So it makes it very easy. And then I'm able to give them feedback and to really help them to optimize the way that they're eating so that they can get their macros in. And this is why a lot of my clients are so successful is because they have that feedback, they have that structure, they have that guidance, and they have that accountability to help them really stay consistent. And again, create that system and that structure within their lifestyle where they're routinely hitting their protein goals, right? Hitting your protein, hitting this high protein is a challenge for a lot of people at first. But once you learn how to tweak certain things and implement, you know, higher portions and uh, high protein snacks and things like that, it really becomes second nature at, at, at some point. But it's going to take some work. It's going to take some planning and it's going to take preparation and intention, right? Intention is key. All right. All right, step two, muscle building technique. So on this journey, building muscle is gonna be very, very important. You can't just do cardio and you know hit your macros. You want to be building muscle or you're gonna get left in a soft, squishy, skinny, fat body, right? So if you want that tone, tight, sexy, fit, built physique, you absolutely need to be building muscle, all right? So you need to be doing resistance training slash hypertrophy. So <clears throat> training for muscle building is essential for toning up, all right? So burning fat and overall building a new body. This style of training focuses on muscle growth, performing exercises in volume, aka chasing the burn, right? Doing things like controlling the reps, fo focusing on maximizing time, maximizing time under tension, really going to failure uh, versus just going super heavy, like powerlifting style, three to five reps for you know five to ten set well not five to ten yeah five to ten german volume training they, they work up that 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 many sets um but you know really focusing on increasing the rep and then you also want the weight to be heavy you don't want it to be super light um but you want it to be heavy enough to really you know give you a challenge um between 12 to 15 reps typically what i like to do for hypertrophy sets is go 20 15 12 10 8 increasing the weight each set and then after that eight i'll drop set burnout so that's a good rule of thumb um or just going to a failure on each set and increasing the weight you set that like literally go crazy you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh i'm getting hot um compound movements are crucial so compound movements like squats deadlifts push-ups pull-ups are super important and a game changer for building muscle and burning fat because they involve multiple muscle groups and total body strength building all right so you definitely don't need to overcomplicate your workouts. Focus on your compound lifts and progressively overloading with your compound lifts. Hit workouts are great. High intensity interval training is a great way to, you know, encourage fat loss and maximize your workouts as it increases your heart rate and burns fat throughout the day versus doing a long distance steady paced cardio, right? Um, I don't recommend doing so much cardio and just focusing your, your workout and your weeks on cardio. Cardio is great, but you need to also make sure that, again, you're building muscle when you want to achieve this physique and get these results. Strength training is also important. So you don't want to just stick into one lane. You don't want to just do cardio. You don't want to just do resistance and hypertrophy. You want to mix in strength so that you're getting stronger and you're pushing yourself. Um, it's also good to, you know, um, strength training is also good for setting goals and, you know, keeping you motivated. Like, oh, I really want to hit, you know, 225 on the squat. You know what I'm saying? I feel myself getting stronger. I really want to be able to hit X, Y, Z. So set these type of goals, um, which are going to encourage you to push harder and to lift heavier. Um, that's also going to help you to be able to actually lift more within your hypertrophy training as well. Resting and recovery is super important. Make sure to factor in rest and recovery to optimize your muscle building potential. Remember, muscle is truly growing during recovery, so allow them to rest. And I like active rest days. I think that it's it's best and it's easiest to stay most consistent when you're training consistently or when you're at least, yeah, when you're moving consistently. The more days that you have off, the more you allow yourself to slip off. So active rest would be things like going on a walk, you know, swimming, um, going in and just doing light movements. Um, you can even just do cardio and active rest days, just something that keeps your body moving um, versus just going at home and chilling. Like even if you're at home, stretch, do some yoga, do some foam rolling, go on a walk, go to the park, do something, um, highly recommend it. And then knowing your, knowing your macro. So one of the main reasons people don't truly succeed in getting lean is they're unaware of their food intake and whether or not they're intaking sufficient amounts of nutrients to actually build muscle and continuously burn fat. Hitting your macros consists of hitting your protein goals and not exceeding your carb and your fat goals. So something I want to build on with that is, like I said earlier, a lot of people have been in a calorie deficit for so long where they actually need to reverse diet. Like a lot of my clients are very surprised at the fact that they're actually not starving themselves and not starving when they're getting leaner. Like you're actually, you need to eat food. You need to fuel your body optimally to allow your body to release that fat and to build muscle. So you're actually surprised at how much you actually need to eat when cutting and getting lean. You're not on a starvation diet. You feel me? Like fasting has its place, but it's not optimal for bodybuilding and body recomposition. All right. 
Step three, calorie deficit. All right, and this is something y'all probably heard about. Um, calories in versus calories out. Calories in versus calories out is a basic principle. All right, behind weight loss to lose weight, you need to burn more calories than you consume. This is called a calorie deficit. Well, a calorie deficit is important. It's often not enough to get rid of stubborn belly fat. This is where macros come into play, right? So you can't just be in a deficit and be eating necessarily McDonald's, right? You need to be hitting your macros in order to do body rock recomposition. Um, low calorie, high nutrient foods. So discover, you know, low calorie options, to satisfy, satisfy your hunger and keep you in a calorie deficit. So you want high protein, low calorie, um, mixing in your healthy fats, your complex carbs and things like that. Um, you don't want like these super high calorie, low nutrient foods like pizza and um, just junk, you know, things that are chips, things that are just empty calories that's not giving your body any protein, giving your body any optimal fuel for building muscle and losing body fat. Consistency is key, all right? Um, I'm gonna take this off because it's hot. So consistency is key. So meal prep and systemizing your food is gonna make a big, 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 big difference, right? If you aren't preparing or if you aren't planning, then you're planning to fail, all right? So again, consistency is the most challenging and most important part because you can do all these things for 30 days, right? See some results, all right? But if you can't stay consistent long-term, the stubborn belly fat, especially like that lower that lower pooch, that, you know, that little pouch that everyone has, yeah, you're really gonna struggle with that. That is gonna take consistency through the long-term. So you wanna develop a system, you wanna develop a sustainable method, whether that be meal prepping, order meal preps, a service, having restaurants that are like, okay, don't have groceries, don't have, okay, here, I know I can eat out, and at least these restaurants are giving me quality food, high in protein that are aligned with my goal still versus just going and having your, you know, the McDonald's and crap that you, know, you may have had before. You need to have um, some backup plans, right? Even if that's like quick food that you keep in your freezer, you know, little turkey burgers or little, you know what I'm saying, frozen meals that um, are high quality. And I do have a easy, lazy prep guide. Um, I'm gonna put that down in the des description below. It's for Trader Joe's. Um, and I'll make a video on that as well, but I designed this with the intention of like, how can you meal prep and how can you eat meals that are very easy to prep whether it be frozen, whether it be, you know, pre-made, just things that are going to be easy for like those lazy days when you just don't feel like doing a full prep, right? Um, so definitely check that out. Check that out. Um, it's going to be, it's, it's sauce. It's, it's sauce. It's free. Like, check that out. It's going to be down below. Um, so yeah, you have to develop a routine of being able to consistently get your meals and your macros in, whether it be meal prep, hiring a service, eating out um, with restaurants that are aligned with your macro goals, all right? Um, mindful eating, slash changing your relationship with food. This is major, this is major. Master the art of mindful eating, being aware, right? Having intention. So make the most of your calories without feeling restricted, all right? Um, you also need to change your mindset with food, right? So from eating solely for pleasure to actually eating for gains and for purpose. So something that I call often like, a lot of the times I'm eating dog food, right? It might not make sense. I might have some chickpea pasta, like literally just last week, uh, I posted in the Instagram private channel one of my meals. Um, it was literally some lentil pasta with some, egg, you know, I uh, fried some eggs on top and I had um, some Ezekiel bread and it didn't make sense. It's not a, a meal that makes sense, but it's optimized for my macros, right? Um, so sometimes you gotta just put things together. It may just be some eggs, some rice, some chicken, and you know what I'm saying? You may skip the broccoli that night. You may just be in a rush and just have to, you know, get your protein and get, get your meals in. And that's that's all right. Um, but everything's not going to be a gourmet meal. Everything's not going to be for taste. Everything's not going to be Lee and Chin. You feel me? Or uh, McDonald's with a large chocolate shake. And a like, no, sometimes you got to just eat for your gains because this is important to you. Um, this is your lifestyle. And you want to feel good. You want to look good. Um, and you want to build that discipline. You want to build that, that, that mindset. Right. And it's just like, bro, it makes it easier. You know, like eat the same things, bro. Like we are made to freaking eat to live, not live to eat. Don't be a slave to food. Like, even if you're a foodie, like you have times that 20%, that 30% where you enjoy food. Like, yeah, it's important to enjoy food, but it doesn't have to be your life. Your life doesn't have to be just indulging in just the best tasting unhealthy food. Like, and healthy food can taste bomb, bro. Like that's what you Y'all don't understand. Healthy food, first of all, get your cooking skills up. Go on TikTok, go on YouTube, get some recipe ideas. Like acai bowls, I used to eat like for sweet tooth, like a, a Greek yogurt parfait for sweet tooth, a fruit bowl. Like, bro, eating healthy is delicious. It's just a mindset and it's just not being lazy, bro. Like, seriously. Step four, importance of a mindset shift, all right? This is so important because it's all mindset. So the most important transformation along this journey is going to be the transformation within your mindset. So this is what 
this is what this is what this is what's going to not only create the results but also maintain the results long term you have to shift your mindset and your self-identity so the same way that you're training your body you must train your mind all right so oh, also so join the instagram private channel i'll put the link down below where you can be connected with me in my private channel where i actually I actually post more intimately. I post my meals directly of what I'm eating. I'm posting live, you know, my workouts, mindsets, daily motivation, you know, where it's more intimate. It's not all edited up. It's not what I post on TikTok or on YouTube. It's literally raw. It's literally community. It's literally designed just for the channel. So make sure that you join that for that daily motivation, for tips um, and things like that. It's always sauce in there. So shifting self-identity. To truly make this lifestyle change stick, a key factor is shifting self-identity. And this is something that I work on with my clients a lot because you have to change who you believe you are. If you believe that you know, you're lazy or you believe you're someone who isn't disciplined or you believe you have that self-identity of someone who is inconsistent or you have that self-identity of someone who isn't fit, right? Um, isn't confident. These are things that you must change, right? Um, and we'll change this through different practices, you know, affirmations, um, but not only that, but also through taking action, right? Because when you take action and you follow through, you start to be, uh, you start to build that internal confidence, that true confidence, because you're following through on what you said. And sometimes we need that accountability. We need somebody in our corner to help push us a bit, to help remind us why we're doing this. And you have to be clear on your why along this journey. Like if you don't know why you're doing this, if you don't know why eating healthy, eating clean being lean, being confident, if you don't know why this is important to you, if it's just superficial for you, even if it is superficial for you, that's fine. When I first started, it was superficial for me, but it became a whole holistic spiritual awakening, you know, and I've had many people say that, like I started just for the gains and just for the looks, but it's become so much more. I'm meditating, I'm journaling, I'm, I'm putting myself out there for business, I'm putting myself out there for opportunities, I'm showing up more powerfully in relationships. Um, so know why you're doing this, right? <clears throat> Um, so yeah, you must become and identify with, you know, yourself as someone who's intentional, who's healthy, who's that fit junkie, who's that gym rat. Your friends may, you know, when you go out with your friends, if they're not healthy and they're not into fitness, they may be like, oh, you're going to eat healthy. You're going to eat. They're going to pick fun at you, but you're going to be, huh, huh, and then they're going to ask you how you did it. They're going to be like, oh, how are you, what, what, what have you been doing? What are you doing? You see what I'm doing. I'm making better choices. I'm showing up. Lead by example, y'all. And that's even more of a reason why to just stick it through, to, to, to be different, to uh, make different choices. Don't just go with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Be a leader. Be a leader. Be an inspiration. Break generational curses. Let's go. Um, positive reinforcement. This is something that's very, 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 very important, especially when you're on this journey um, on, your, on your own. If you don't have people around you that are inspiring, if you don't have a circle that's into this type of stuff, super important. So training and filling your mind with positive reinforcement, such as podcasts, books, or simply inspiration from social media. You know, that's a great way to spark daily motivation, discipline, to encourage you to keep going on your journey. And that's why I say join the Instagram channel because I share the videos that I listen to, um, whether it be mindset videos, motivation videos, um, YouTubers that I like in the fitness industry. When I first started, if I didn't feel like going to the gym, you know, I would I would watch David Lay, Christian Guzman, you know, um, I would watch their vlogs and I would see them getting it in. I'm like, man, I'm going to go get it in. I'm trying to get like them. Right. So use these these <clears throat> resources even daily. I listen to podcasts. I'm reading books. I'm doing things to keep my mind growing, enhancing my discipline and just keeping it clear on why I'm doing this. Right. You have to be a growth oriented person and want more for yourself. Three, enjoy the journey. Remember to enjoy the process and to celebrate your accomplishments along the way. Like I said, it's not about the instant gratification. It's not about how fast you get there, but how you get there and how you can sustain it, right? Um, it's not about how strict you can be, but again, how sustainable and how consistent your strategy is. Cheat meals are fine here and there, as long as it's not your lifestyle any longer, right? So that 80-20 rule that I talked about earlier. Step five, consistency is key. So make a plan and stick to it. If you don't have a plan, you plan to fail. You should definitely tap in the link Right here, you guys are going to be able to download this this full um, PDF. Um, you're going to be able to download this full PDF, but also the link will be down below in terms of watching this free training where I'm going to go through and I'm going to break down how No Stagnation Academy exactly works to help dozens of busy professionals. We work with a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, family people, uh, traveling entrepreneurs. Like we've helped some elite performers, and elite businessmen and women transform their body, even on the busiest schedule. So don't make excuses. Figure out a way. You can either be a person that makes excuses and uses them as a crutch, or you can be a person that figures it out and overcomes obstacles. You feel me? It's two different types of people in this world. Everybody, go to the gym tomorrow. I want you to go to the gym tomorrow and ask everybody in there, like, what was your day like today? Was it busy? Yes. They're just disciplined. They're going to show up. Why? Because it's important to them. They want to feel good. They want to let that energy out. They want to have a better energy. They want to have better mental health, right? That's all it is. Um, it's showing up for yourself. Be accountable. Accountability is a game changer, and it's a must. 
You must be able to hold yourself accountable and at a high standard, right? That's something that's gonna also help you to be consistent. How do you hold yourself? Do you hold yourself at a high standard? Who do you believe you are, right? Um, I know for me, I hold myself at a high standard, right? So I'm gonna do the things that majority of people aren't doing, right? I take pride in that. I see what everybody else is doing. Everybody else isn't willing to go on runs at, you know, uh, on Saturday nights. People aren't willing to sacrifice the clubs. People aren't willing to get out of bed and go work out. So I'm gonna do that. People aren't willing to buckle down and, and study and apply themselves and invest into you know new ventures and mentors and uh, invest in different cryptos and stuff. I'm willing to take those risks. I'm willing to invest. In, I'm, I'm willing to bet on myself, right? You have to be willing to do what the masses aren't doing if you want to be able to do and be and get places where most people don't go. You feel me? Come on, man. Um, so yeah, think about ways that you can increase accountability or who you can have in your corner to truly hold you accountable. And this is why a lot of my our clients are so successful, right? They have me and my team in their corner, I can see their workouts, I can see what they're eating, we have a community. You're not on this journey alone anymore when you have a mentor, when you have a coach that truly cares. And I'm not saying, you know, everybody, all the fitness coaches and mentors out there are good. You know what I'm saying? Do your research, do the social proof, um, look at the social proof, do your research, right? Know who you're gonna be working with. Um, but we got the social proof, I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing this for a long time. We got a lot of reviews, a lot of testimonials, a lot of transformations, we do this, you feel me? <laughs> um, but yeah. Discipline over motivation, right? Know that motivation is unreliable. Most days you're not gonna feel like it, all right? So you must program your brain to overcome that bitch voice. And this is something that one of my mentors, Andy Frisell, no, this is Bedros. Bedros calls it the bitch voice. Absolutely love it. Yo, definitely listen to Bedros as well. That is part of the Positive Reinforcement Podcast. Bedros Cullinan. I don't know how to say his last name, but he's great for mindset, mental toughness, and mindset development. Um, listen to it daily. It'll really help out. So overcome that bitch voice, right? That voice in your head that tells you, oh, no, you good. You don't need to work out today. Just go tomorrow. You had a long day. Oh, eat the cake. Eat the cake. You, you deserve the cake. You don't need to go and eat the chicken breast and rice. Like You're tired of chicken breast. You're tired of protein. Just, just have the cake. Fuck that. Are you great? Do you want to be great? So it's all about making that a game, being aware of that voice in your head and be like, how many times can I overcome that voice in, that, in my head? How many times can I beat that voice? How many times can I show up? Each time that you beat that, it's going to compound into that result, that goal, that ultimate lifestyle that you want. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is truly a holistic transformation, mentally, physically and spiritually. It's literally not one cylinder. It's not just about working out. It's not just about dieting. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. It's not just about, it's about everything. It's about how you wake up in the morning. What's your morning routine like? How are you setting yourself up for success? Who are you surrounding yourself with, right? Your spouse, your, the, your friends, who are you surrounding? Are they inspiring? Are they on the same things? This is a time where you may have to separate yourself, right? You might have to separate uh, cocoon. I mean, um, caterpillars go into a cocoon and they come out a butterfly. This may be a time where you might have to hibernate a little bit to focus on yourself, to pour into yourself, because if the people around you are distractions, if they're not on the same wave, the same wavelength, then you have to separate yourself so that you can work on yourself, and then you, you will inspire them by your growth, all right? Conclusion, you can do it, <laughs> you really, you can do it, and I know a lot of people, like, when I tell them, like, yo, you can do it, they don't believe in themselves, right, because they've been trying for years, or they've been saying they're going to do it for years, but it's different when you have someone in your corner, when you have somebody who's consistently working on their mindset, who's going to hold you at a high standard, who's going to help you to see the potential that you have. Um, but not only that, I've seen it time and time again. People are like, yo, I didn't think I would actually be able to get this done. You've changed my life. Thank you. You know what I mean? And you guys are going to be able to see the testimonials on the next page. Um, but remember to check your progress. Stay accountable. Um, take pictures. Take pictures. Take pictures, take videos, do not just do the scale, take photos so that you can see your body changing. This will be very motivational and very, um, it'll, it'll be very encouraging to you to see your photos and to see your progress. So trust me, even if you're not confident in your body right now, take photos, all right? You're, you're definitely capable of achieving great things, but it's a mindset. It's one habit at a time. It's all about building habits. <clears throat> And surrounding yourself around the same pe uh, surrounding yourself around the right people. So stay inspired and focus on the long term over the instant gratification. So don't forget, it's a lifestyle. It's not a 30 day diet, right? So focus on developing the lifestyle and the mindset. That's what's going to cause this to stick long term. I can't stress that enough. It's mindset. So if you're tired of sp spinning your wheels, if you feel like you're in a hamster wheel or you, you just struggling to get started and you're ready to lock in, you're ready to commit and you're ready to get these results right? Because I'm results driven. We're results driven. Like, yeah, we're not necessarily rushing the results because we want to do it in a sustainable manner, but we're results driven. I want you to hit the link 
when you download this, hit the link or in the description, hit the link, apply, join the waiting list. And me, someone from my team will reach out when space opens and see if you're a good fit, see if we're a good fit to work together, see if or how we can even help based on what you need, right? Because this is all designed based on what you need, right? Everyone's different from we work with beginners, we work with people that ha have been training for years and are still struggling to get the results because they're not firing on all cylinders. Um, like I said, we work with beginners who are struggling to get started. So it all depends on where you're at in your journey. This isn't just like buying a program. You're not just buying a you know, $99 program and left to do it on your own. No, this is something custom built for you. You have a mentor, you have a coach in your back pocket, you have guidance along the way, you have community to you know uh, encourage you, to inspire you and so forth. So make sure you click that. <clears throat> yeah, my throw dry shout out this is that fire coconut water that real organic fair trade all right <clears throat> why you should trust us right so like i said whether you decide to work with me uh whether you decide to work with us whether you decide to do it alone whether you decide to work with someone else make sure they have the social proof make sure you know who you're working with and that they really do this you feel me because a lot of people don't really do this, you know? I mean, they do it, but they don't really do it. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Um, we've helped dozens of professionals achieve the results they never thought possible. It's simple. Google it, No Stagnation Transformation Fitness Academy. You're gonna see the reviews. You're gonna see the heartwarming reviews. You can click the testimonials right here, www.nostagnation.com slash transformations. You can see, you can hear from people themselves. You can see the photos. It's, it's self-explanatory. I'm gonna let you guys click on these videos, watch these videos so that you can hear out of our client's mouth what their experience is like you know all different types of you know uh business professionals family men um just tap in you know um so if you like this content if this was something that was helpful for you you could definitely download this pdf so that you can keep this down below um there's going to be some other free resources within this guide that i didn't really touch on um like if you want to learn more about macros there's a, uh, a clickable button in here where you can download the macro guide. Like I said, there's that lazy, easy Trader Joe's cooking guide. Um, and then, yeah, if you want workouts and things like that, you know, you're already on the YouTube, but we do have No Stagnation Academy YouTube as well, where I post workouts. If you just want to add some workouts to your library or to your playlist. Um, and yeah, stay tapped in. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, I would love for you guys to join our community. We're looking for like-minded, growth-oriented individuals always, right? Because we're building a network. We're building a community of people that are about creating the best versions of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually, right? Real wealth builders. All right, so that's what we're about. Like I said, hit the subscribe. Rock with your boy, Joe Fit Johnson. We are out. Hope that was helpful for y'all. Drop a comment. Share it with a friend. Really appreciate it. Whole lot of gangsta.